here's when live TV goes completely wrong best of 2023 so if you guys do enjoy please drop a like subscribe to my channel and let's get straight into today's video her top wasn't even on right on live TV and no one told her at all it was uneven y antes de los deportes ahí va un clásico de todos los viernes lo más visto en la web de Antena 3 Llega la hora de la competición en Pekín tras una ceremonia de apertura que no ha defraudado, ha cumplido con las expectativas, mano. Ha estado muy bien en general, pero... Now this is the main reason why you should never lean back on your chair, especially if you're on live TV. I bet she wished that she was wearing a different outfit. The guy climbing the ladder got a woman to hold the ladder while he climbed up it to see how strong the ladder is. He should have used a wall instead. That must have been painful. <laughs> A reporter backs into a guy on purpose and pushes him off the boat, even though the guy in front warned him beforehand, but he doesn't listen he still backs up. That was definitely intentioned. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness. Hang on, hang on. Here, I'm sorry. Grab, grab his hand. Grab his hand. Sorry. What? Are you okay? Hang on. Talk about promoting a product goes completely wrong. She said the mattress is puncture proof, but then moments later this happened. The reporter found a secret trick, and that's a bit embarrassing. Everybody thought you had some great hands for a second. These are real bricks. I mean there's there's no don't oh, 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 oh. Wow! Check it out, baby. What you gotta do is look in the bottom right corner. A dog stole some food from the grill on TV. Empanadita y churraquita. ¿De dónde viene usted? De acá de Nagoya. I think she forgot she was on TV for a second because what she said about men's underwear. Have you tried the ABC pants? I haven't. Well, that's the whole thing. Have you? No. Which is good. By the time they get to me, <laughs> saturation. <laughs> They're supposed to be very comfortable in certain areas for men. A reporter falls off this decking area when she was doing great stomping. When you play around with your dog with your microphone at home, but then you soon go into regret it when you're reporting the news on TV because he thinks the mic is a toy. Здравствуйте, Ирина. Ну, действительно, в столичный регион пришла весна. С полбики термометров будут показывать на этой неделе до 8 плюс 9 градусов. Well, someone thought this guy was handsome on TV. Just wait for the moment at the end of the clip. Sometimes knowing too many languages can be quite difficult, especially when you forget what language you're speaking. Well, this happens literally to this guy, and he gets confused. Influye poco porque si piensas que tienes que reservar un resultado, uy, en fin, de <laughs> uh... A man sneaks up behind a news reporter on TV and she got completely scared on camera. She definitely wasn't expecting that that day. And it's likely one of those international cities might... No! <laughs> <I'm scared> this... <laughs> Okay, back to you. <laughs> A reporter breaks his girl's art on purpose and laughs about it. Uh-oh. 
We're gonna scream now. A reporter ruins a giant sandcastle that took him ages. It's actually fell on top of the castle on purpose. Mira, por ejemplo, aquí arriba es que es increíble la puertita que hay con un, un niño. ¡Ah! Pa pa por Dios. Pa Talk about wearing the wrong heels to modeling. This model falls down twice and everybody starts to laugh. Yep, she'll never forget that moment. Difficulty. A model fell down twice. That's her going down once. A young woman wearing that pink skirt and the orange platform shoes. Never quite recovered after that. There she goes <laughs> <laughs> that had to hurt. These soldiers were annoying the news reporter by saying she's speaking too much and speaking over everything she was saying. This news reporter says to the lady, why are you gay? And then she replies saying, who says I am gay? One of the gay rights activists, Mr. Should I call you Mr? Pepe Julian Onzima. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for Good morning. Me. Morning to you. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? Everybody was focused on the game and their food, but this kid was focused on something else instead. And nobody realized how the kid reacted, except for everybody watching this on live TV. If you have to go, you have to go, whether or not if you're on TV or not. Well, this dog in the background went for number two in the background. Lightning as well, but it quietens down a touch on Sunday, although it will still be hot and humid, not quite as hot and humid as it's going to be in the next few days, Charlie and Dave. Oh, Carol, don't look behind you. Don't turn around. <laughs> I'm staged by a dog, it's the story of my life. Yeah, yeah, something like <laughs> When you forget you report the weather in front of a green screen, there's certain colours you cannot wear on set. And this is one of them. Talk about being transparent. It was light enough. Do we have another camera? Like, can I show? Can we turn this one around? So yeah, this oh, is what happened. Oh. <laughs> Dressed by Chris Burrows. Oh my god, it's like a, no, it's swimming. It's, like it's a, a tent. <laughs> god. Oh my gosh, I was gone one day, okay. one newscast okay. without me. Okay. She was keep staring at this tennis player and she couldn't keep her eyes off him literally for one second and it all got captured on TV. When you do not believe humans are came from apes, check out this one. This ape is literally standing up in front of live TV. Why he is being interviewed and that smirk he had on his face. It's like he understood everything she was saying. Researchers are hoping this new technology could eventually be introduced to zoos right around the world. But for visitors here at Melbourne Zoo, they may be lucky enough to experience it for themselves the trial running sporadically throughout the rest of the month. When you interview an AI robot on national television and the only words a robot will say is F you on TV. Been hanging around in the studio all morning. She was invited on all part of the BBC News Week on Artificial Intelligence. Uh, Linda, thank you very much for joining us. This reporter didn't know what to do with his hands, so he made out he's typing on his phone when literally he has nothing in his hands at all. Now that is more embarrassing. Morning's papers, but for now, goodbye. She 
got a bit too confused on TV and she was meant to say blow dry but she has blow job instead. I couldn't imagine the embarrassment she felt in this time. Yeah, that's a moment she'll never forget on national television. The voiceover of the guy that was doing what's next on TV, his phone ends up ringing in the background. Speciality Bread's next on BBC One. It's Paul's big thing, but baguettes can be brutal in Bake Off. But how we spend our dough reveals who we are. As, uh, who, sorry, um, Anne unveils Britain's spending secrets at night. People didn't really care about the guy I was speaking in the background. They only cared about his cats in the bottom left corner, how they were fighting each other. Now they are the star of the show, not him us about an inch of rain uh, through the mid part of the week uh, tapering off here late in the day on Thursday and Thursday could be a pretty windy day and Thursday also the coolest day that we will see here this coming week so bottom line not a bad day coming up for you tomorrow it will be mild temperatures are going to be up in the uh, mid 60s to around 70 tomorrow afternoon 1700s at Kalamazoo rain's pretty much over Storm Track Live still showing just a few sprinkles of rain off of the This politician forgot she was on live TV and she wants to redo her answer she told the news reporter on TV. We are live. A dog makes an appearance on TV by jumping on the side and he steals the spotlight of the reporter. Storm the weather dog. Yeah. In case you missed it a little earlier, take a look. There he is. <laughs> that, I remained quite calm, didn't I? That's very funny. Here I am in slow motion. <laughs> That is very funny. When you forget to close all of your doors so your pets are not allowed in when you're reporting the news on TV, this fluffy tail popped up on camera. And the BBC are also now embracing this. Why, and I apologise for my tax tail, why, um, why are you not doing this by the public? Rocco, could you tell that? <laughs> A nine month old giraffe gives a reporter a lot of attention at Safari Park. The giraffe probably thinks that she's its mother. That, wow. oh, who knew giraffes were so frisky? Please. Are you okay? <laughs> 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 reporter Ashley Jacobs of KFMB TV in San Diego gets quite a licking as the friendly nine month old giraffe rubs his head all over. Privacy, please. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Ashley? <laughs> <laughs> the reporter was trying to ask the kid a question, and his response is priceless. He says, wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? The actual customer out here, uh, what's, uh, what's the best kind of firework to buy? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Where are your parents? Get sketchy. Back to you guys. You gotta look out for feral children this time. Feral? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I like the weather boy. What's going on? Yeah, what? I don't know. That was a little uncalled for, but you know, you're supposed to respect your elders. When you know a lot of your viewers hook into Fox News when your dog is on TV, so he calls Brody on TV. Because I'm pretty sure everybody watching him is looking at Brody, not him. Now that is one sweet dog. Come here, buddy. You just messed the. Come up here for a second. Just come on. Come up here. Come on. Up, 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 up. The maps aren't going to move because he just whacked the, the computer with his head. So let me let me just verbalize the forecast, okay? That wasn't a, that wasn't very smart. We'll have clouds overnight tonight with temps today, partly cloudy, turning more humid uh, with temperatures again in the in the mid 80s. With, oh boy, oh boy, you know, he's, 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 he's jumping up looking for Craig outside the window. Oh, don't oh take this the wrong way, oh, Paul. Boy. But yeah. this is amazing oh, and great. Boy. I love it. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Uh, that that's we don't need that's she got caught checking out her skirt on live tv i couldn't imagine how embarrassed she felt so some good signs uh both shows are not uh having technical difficulties so i'm watching spain it's facing a final while the tv host was holding a big snake he forgot about the second snake on the table this guy is uh probably close to five feet 
Texas rat snakes are going to be one of the largest snakes that you find in the Metroplex area. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> man, get this thing off me, man. Get this thing off me, man. God damn. This man got caught cheating on live TV when a girl walks in the background and that isn't his wife. Insisto, algunas tan nobles y con tanta fuerza y tan importantes como la ve. This reporter is a loss of words. He couldn't believe how beautiful she was. Someone threw a rock in the background and it ends up hitting the reporter. And this all happened on live TV. It was. Um, and it is, you know, destroyed. The, the building is basically collapsed. You can hear the explosions going on inside there from whatever is inside, whether it's... Ah. Sorry, I just got hit by a rock. Of peace. This report couldn't get her words out on live TV because apparently she had a stroke. CBS 2 Serene Branson is live at the Staples Center with highlights and backstage coverage we're seeing for the very first time. Serene. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Darrison bite. Let's go hit Terrace Chase and those for the bit. They had the a random guy in a mask sneaks up behind the reporter while she reports the news. She definitely wasn't expecting that. 네, 현재 이곳 라이온즈 파크는 38도에 육박하고 있습니다. 제 뒤에는 아, This report says her last name on TV and you will not believe what it is. You would think she's joking, but she actually isn't. Now firefighters have not confirmed how this fire started. The calls still under investigation. Live in North Fort Myers, Christina Lesbian, uh, excuse me, ABC. This guy definitely hates reporters. He throws water in this guy's face. Please don't water the reporter. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm Michael Putney with Channel 10. <laughs> WPLG senior this reporter knew it was going to happen before it even happened. You can tell by her face impression when she saw the child skateboarding. Police in LA and Kern County also have use of drones. The ACL. This random guy messed with the wrong reporter. He's not taking any of that. He told the guy, I don't think so. Residents have started to complain about the amount of noise. The guy reporting the news is scared of horror films and anything horror related. This definitely was his worst day ever. Alright, what's going through your mind? I don't know, I'm really, really nervous. I'm freaking out. What is coming towards us? He's really tall, he's really tall, he's really tall. Okay, no. <laughs> okay, no. okay. A woman on live TV found her true love. She couldn't believe how handsome the guy was, so she drops down the mic and runs after him. Reporter drops mic, chases shirtless Aussie hunk on live. Is that, I mean, the shark's always going to be there. I mean, why do you think there's always shark sightings in summer? There's more people. We got more people looking out, trying to look for the sharks. Um, but they're not, I mean, they're not going to hurt you. I spear fish off this point uh, every week. I mean, the, the truth of the matter is the shark's always there. Sharks are always going to be there. Uh, just because we see one shark, doesn't mean that somebody's going to get bit or attacked or that we got to shut down a beach. I think it's just a paranoia from the media and from what we uh, just what we just what we see on TV every day, to be honest. But uh, sharks are no danger, nothing to be afraid of. We got guys out here surfing. There's nothing that's going to happen. If something does, it's just a random chance. I love this. What, what is your name? James. I love James. Thank you, James. Thank, Thank you. you in more ways than you know. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, the distance. Oh, see. Maybe there you go, Wendy. Go get him. You go get him. This reporter definitely did this on purpose to get attention and probably increase her views as well. And it actually worked. Pozdrav Bulgarskoj. Očekujem sve vas, draga moje publiko, 7. novembra u hali Arena Armec. Znači, 7. novembar, ljubi vas i voli vaše cece. The guy thought he found grape nuts on the ground, so he ends up eating it. But you will not believe what it actually is. Is Evelyn. It 
Picture. And you're going downhill fast, pal. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's also... <laughs> you live great nuts all over here. What is happening? Come on. Everywhere. Clean up. Yeah. Oh. oh. Let's go to the roads, I please. I can't believe you just ate that. You can't? I believe it. They're a little soggy. It is elephant that you oh, are they, crazy. They taste like shoes. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I smell smells like feet. I smell <laughs> feet. She definitely passed the vibe test. A camera loosens and points to the ground, so she gives everybody and all the viewers a fancy dance. So most metro locations, anywhere between three to six inches of snow, so pretty good dose of snow in Winter Park. Look at this beautiful shot this afternoon. You can, wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, so it's going to be kind of cold today. Temps in the 30s. By tonight, we should see some clearing skies. All right, you have a good one. A protester somehow got through security and went beyond the news reporter on live television. Коллега российский премьер подчеркнул, надо усилить сотрудничество в рамках союзного государства, а на совещании в правительстве. A news reporter has an accident on live TV because the biker wasn't looking where he was going. She was so excited she won a competition. She ended up jumping on the TV host, knocking him down to the ground. All of the fans around the reporter end up putting him down to the ground and they take over reporting the news because they're so excited they won the match. Sometimes when you report the news, you've got to focus on your surroundings as well and never face your back towards oncoming traffic. They always say don't tell people your next move and this was a very weird and strange moment that happened on TV as people dressed up in car costumes. No wonder why he hates doing speeches because every time he does his teeth falls out so he's trying to adjust his teeth on TV. Também cabe destacar, entre tantos outros projetos de infraestrutura nacional, trabalha em todas as etapas. Vou tirar isso aqui. Desde a formulação das políticas do planejamento. When you always have that itch, but then you forget you're on TV. And her nickname is called the Bogey Picker. Hmm, I wonder why. É, segundo a organização, o recorde de público, isso tudo aqui, o recorde é hoje à noite. Teriam sido vendidos 220 mil ingressos. Teriam sido vendidos 200. That was a bit unexpected. In the middle of a broadcast, an earthquake ends up happening. More problems for a trouble. Earthquake. Yep, We're having an earthquake. Okay, it, it appears to have stopped. Yeah. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna jump right now to the yeah to the U.S. Geological Survey. Her heels break at the worst possible time. Never get the low, cheap, discounted heels, and that's the reason why. <laughs> While this news angle was going through her notes on live television, it got put on air without her even knowing, and she was definitely in shock indeed, just by her face and reaction. Aqui, desculpe. Vamos tentar. Tá, vamos. Quando tá, não, não, gente, não dá. A polícia procura pelo motorista que atropelou e arrastou um rapaz. Por 15 km em Campo Grande. Just keep your eye on the woman in the background. She has some great dance moves. Dancing in front of her colleagues. O Leonel vai ter que deixar o cargo. Vamos falar. 
O governo deve publicar nos próximos dias a medida provisória que transfere o Conselho de Atividades Financeiras, o COAF. Talk about not getting your eight hours of sleep a day. She was talking into the microphone the wrong way around. And she makes a joke out of it by putting the microphone in her mouth. Sabor morango. Laura Miller nem entrou. That was a moment she had trust issues, sitting on a chair, no screws. She ain't gonna trust this crew again. Perdeu. Por favor. Aí. Eu não acredito. Meu Deus! She almost made it on the boat into the last few steps. She slips on some mud near the boat, almost falling into the river. Se as cavernas dessa região é um lugar assim especialíssimo. E aqui diz, this is the boat. E agora? Quer continuar trabalhando? Just pay close attention to the guy on the right hand side. It is one of the biggest no nos on national television. Picking your nose straight in front of the camera. Police arrested the man in Rolando last night. He's accused of climbing into a woman's window, sexually assaulting her in the college area last week. This woman ends up dropping plates off the counter. When you think some things on a live broadcast will be cut out from the proper one, but think again, she got caught doing her makeup. Que tem mandado ele assinar ali na hora, né? Sai com o papelzinho assinado, né? Favor providenciar uma vaga. Cativa permanente. A news reporter falls out hot air balloon. Next time, use both of your hands on the basket. Oba! Que é isso? Ah, meu pai do céu! Segura a mulher aí, rapaz! I think the surgeon in the background wasn't aware of what's happening. He wasn't too pleased about the cameras being on. Ela sabe por quê? Porque eu não tenho paciência para uma pessoa que está começando. Ela está começando, eu sou mais agitada. Esse especial hoje, não, não vou te ensinar não, que eu não sou apresentadora. Só que a gente tem que correr. When you start reporting the news next to a C, you know what's going to happen. I don't need to explain it. Acontecimento. Agora não presta A wall falls down on the left hand side, hitting a guy. Next time, use a better tape. <laughs> Talk about going live literally at the wrong time when you got a massive sneeze coming. Bless you. A national emergency has been invoked. Has been invoked, but the weather in Pakistan, extreme weather, is alarming. At least he learned one thing in life: always turn your phone off or put it on silent mode. If you're on national television or in the cinema. <laughs> Pode desligar o seu celular, porque realmente a gente fica sem mensagem de soltar nessa hora dando uma entrevista, né? If you can translate it and put it in the comment section below, because the host's reaction was priceless of what she was saying. This news I can't get her words out properly on TV. She was probably given the wrong papers to read. Oh, she forgot to wear her glasses that day. Our Tulsa Air and Space Museum is hosting a launch uh, today at the at the at the event. Um, the event features uh, live. Uh, this reporter learned a life lesson on live TV when he touched a live wire. Aqui, por exemplo, tem. Her right earring wasn't on properly and it ended up going down her top. And she still acts like nothing even happened. Do esporte e os lances mais divertidos do domingo do futebol. 
Estamos há pouco mais de um mês dos Jogos Pan-Americanos. Lances mais divertidos do domingo no futebol. That definitely escalated quickly. It went from being normal to this. Conseguimos apurar agora há pouco que os médicos Mas conseguiram. Me derrubaram aqui! Próxima Próxima semana. A woman in the background got way too jealous on TV, only because she didn't win the competition. This is definitely one of the weirdest screens you'll ever hear on live TV. You can tell she's definitely scared of heights and slides, and her real fear ends up coming out. <laughs> The man in the background riding the bike ends up bumping the reporter, knocking him straight to the ground. He thought the baby runner was caged in. Yeah, that is definitely the worst thing you can do on live TV, falling over in front of all your audience. This reporter was attacked by a random woman. She runs up to the reporter and pushes her straight to the ground, causing her to get arrested. The guy in the middle of the screen was making some weird noises on TV. Well, that was probably him yawning, but that was very weird indeed. <laughs> Before you're going to report the news on the stage, make sure your balance is quite good. Well, this report ends up falling down to the ground. Now her wages that month is $500 less because she's got to buy a new iPad. The news channel logo in the background falls off the wall. I think they need to find a new carbon jar. Salário só entrou em vigor em uma empresa. O Sindicato dos Metalúrgicos de São Paulo espera mais a Talk about leaning too far back in your chair on TV, and now he's going to regret to that moment. Eu acho que quebrou. A poorly designed table falls over on TV. This MP goes completely crazy, but he forgot one thing, it was all captured on live TV. And he says how or could you with the F word in it as well. But he is known for making a whole scene anyways. <laughs> What you want? You not gaduh dengan saya? Ini time. Tanya saja, kita Alah, tanya ini aja. Pak Duduk dua. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh. This NBA player slips up on live TV during a post interview. Talk about an instant regrets moment. We know we had to match the intensity of their great team. They've been playing great. They shoot the shit out the ball. And you know. They sure do. <laughs> And, um, I think we all have seen at this moment the greatest catch in baseball history. His reflexes are literally on point. Um, I mean, I love our chances. You know, it's been. Uh, it's been... Oh, Man, God, keep it on the field. This strange guy checks his phone for one reason to see if he's on live TV. So he gives everybody a stranger dance. And take a look at this guy, he is really taking into the action of Sky Fox being here and wants to put on a little show. Nick Collins falls off a ladder during an interview at a Wembley Stadium. But he's a man in form, he was man of the match here at the uh, Community Shield game. Uh, Want to see a strange guy in the background on TV? Here you go. Getting these intelligence briefings. Here's what former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani had to say about that with Greta Van Susteren last night. This weather guy destroys an ice school you by mistake, apparently. But a lot of people said he did it on purpose and nudged it with his elbow. What do you guys think on purpose or by mistake? Put your comments down below.
was commentating about the match and a ball hit him straight in the head. He was doing his work from home but he forgot to wear trousers. He was wearing pajamas in the background. These do say they will scale up the program. If it is six news report gets chucked into the water near a fountain and seconds later another guy ends up getting chucked in as well. It was showing the reporter live on television how to take someone down and he took her down in the gym in front of everybody. Okay, um, we're gonna step here, we're gonna simple throw. <laughs> At least she showed a perfect example how windy the weather is because her hat and her umbrella blows out of camera's view. And you can see from here that this uh, umbrella really isn't doing much good because of that wind. Uh, PSNG says there are more than 1,600 customers on Long Island without power tonight. That's going away from Long The report was on the Lions menu that day. She's lucky there's a cage between them. This news anger poked the screen a bit too hard, and one piece ends up coming out of place. Britain and Ireland. Cold wind though. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> that was part of uh, the East Anglia and the South East. You can see- The report was so focused on the news she forgot she was standing in the middle of the road until one guy rescued her. And this video is the funniest umbrella moment so far. A gust of wind actually breaks her umbrella, completely destroying it. The thing over her head got stuck in her hair and she ends up freaking out on TV. A Russian singer falls to the ground live on TV when performing her song, but she soon gets up and carries on singing. The weather woman falls over on live TV. The only thing you can do when you fall over on stage is carry on, because if you stop it's more embarrassing, and Rihanna took it like a pro. After watching these, I'm pretty sure girls are now put off wearing heels because they always a trip over. <laughs> now that's an awesome live TV trick to do. <laughs> she forgot one main thing in football, do not wear heels. Sometimes you want to hang around your friends but then you don't want to drink. But they want to drink more than you do, so you end up doing this. Let's go one more. <laughs> you drink it or you throw it away? Don't be a Now that's what we call dedication to his work. Hopefully he gets promotion after this footage. He shows on how to make the chicken more tender. But are you meant to cook it in the pan and not whack the chicken with the pan? I'm gonna actually try to do She thought she was on a break and she forgot the cameras were rolling. Then she ends up dancing. Yeah. Didn't work. No! <laughs> I don't mind you getting pie, but definitely not on live TV. When you're trying to tell everybody a great story, but then something embarrassing happens. Oh, I just fully split my pants. <laughs> That's 
a scourge guy lets this crazy woman in the office bit. Then she ends up throwing cream pies at the reporters. <laughs> They're putting Fullerton and Burpin separately, just do them together. It's a matter of time, she's not lonely. Yeah. <laughs> just a matter of time, she's not lonely. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell that's definitely her first time doing bowling. <laughs> she pushes her seat a bit too far out, and when she sits down, this happens. <laughs> She definitely regrets reporting them now because now she's soaked in beer. For about 25 years. Oh, no! I buckled down on what we needed to do and uh, came out executing. Go dry up. <laughs> It was trying to show off in front of the cameras. Não, ele é extremamente perigoso. É uma travessia arriscada. Os acidentes são muito comuns. Nós temos praticamente. Thankfully, he wasn't a foot over to his left because that would have definitely ended a lot differently. Vai dar uma que vai aqui uma câmera, rápido. Ah, sim. Não vou zoot, câmera. I'm not sure why they thought this was a great idea. We knew straight away she was going to tip over, and she did. Now the other ah! thing is you. <laughs> you, you donkey! The main rule in celebrating never celebrate too early, but she did. <laughs> Trying to scare Selena Gomez is so easy. Check out this. I think she thought she was on live, but she forgot the cameras are always rolling. <laughs> her trousers right when she's trying to sing a song, so they end up set of taping her trousers back together again. They had one job and they couldn't even get that right. <laughs> That's definitely her most embarrassing day ever. Hear voice shaking her hand. Now this is the main reason why you always ride a bike outside and not indoors. But this news anchor thought she knew better. Nissan scooters. They are electric. They go up to 25 miles an hour. They are amazing. And we are out of here. This is quite unexplainable. A woman falls off her chair on live TV, but it looks like she did it on purpose. I'm pretty sure she was wearing the wrong dress that day, because when she falls on the ground, her legs lift up right in the air. Hey, but the first thing was called Kiss My Ass and he goes, Courtney Love, I've had your home. Which actually happens to be true. <laughs> This news anchor gets very uncomfortable and nervous because what the reporter said on national television, he couldn't believe it himself. How you celebrate Dingus Day? The quirky little rituals include boys sprinkling girls that they fancy with water and the girls striking back with a tap from a pussy willow branch. Someone was trying to speak to her while she was on the phone to the TV. And so she ends up saying this, you will not believe it. Easily 15 plus years. And the thing I think you're gonna really like is... Do you see I'm on the fucking phone? Uh-oh! Oh! oh. But obviously he meant a branch, and that is the actual name of a branch. Sorry. <laughs> 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 
I'm not gonna let you do this one. <laughs> Sorry. This TV host definitely fails in barrows, he falls over on live TV and he does a panic laughter. You know that laugh was full of nerves. We shall be in, right? It's a preview, now coming up. <laughs> England's coming. Coming on now. <laughs> All right, now, here we go, you've got to... Stop. Lovely. Right, it's speed off. This report gets posted an ice skating ring just to report the news, even though she cannot skate. They probably did this on purpose to see her fail. <laughs> oh my god. Well, the setting here at Somerset House really is spectacularly beautiful, and there's even a full bar. Although the combination of mild wine and ice is probably potentially pretty dangerous. Especially if you're as rubbish at skating as I am. Oh, oh my god! Daisy Gray. This guy forgot it was live on air until one other guy asked him to report the news. Then you will not believe his response. Ukrainian has some new reporting on something that we talked about at the top of the hour how the Trump administration is handling the transition with the incoming Biden team or not handling it, we should say, to a certain extent. This time, it involves our intelligence community. Uh, Ken, what have you learned, sir? Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay. Our reporter during our break got caught dancing in front of a green screen. She thought all the cameras were off, but she was actually on live TV. Can tell if it's like, What is oh. happening over there? Yeah, if we had a camera over there, we'd actually we be able did, to. We would actually be able to see what. There's, there were always voices in her head. Well, I know. Whatever it is. But when she starts talking back to the voices who talk to her, yeah. Then what? No! <laughs> this news reporter isn't wearing a jumper or a coat in cold or whatever. Then it turns into one embarrassing moment. And you're watching 60 Minute Makeover. Today we're in Forest Hill, South East London, where the kids have taken control by calling us and begging for a makeover. It's not easy to turn your house into a perfect home, especially when you've got six kids to look after. And that's where we come in. While the kids are away, we're going to be restyling this house and we're doing it in just 60 minutes. This guy called Doug falls asleep on TV. Well, Super Tuesday in the rear view mirror and the results show a little something for everybody. Doug Lazader is live in D.C. with the update on all of this. Doug, good morning. Good to see you. I guess 631 pretty much the way it breaks down, eh? Maybe. Hello, Doug. Hi, Doug. Uh... I... Now that is what you call the worst time and literally possible. The guy driving in the car and the woman literally said the same thing at the same time. Killing more of our teens of drugs and alcohol confined is now... <laughs> Sorry about that. Is now taking the first place position on why our teens are... Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> They are telling everybody to go back indoors, but these three lads saw a perfect opportunity to get internet famous on TV. Outside, uh, in, inside their home, you heard from the mayor who said a number of people haven't left. That worries them, but at this point, if you haven't left, don't go out. You probably can't get out of Atlantic City anyway because the roads have become overwashed. That's the ocean behind me. You've actually got to... When she's trying to report the news, she says some inappropriate words because she gets her reports all mixed up. Then she completely felt embarrassed. Well, Mark, there have been a number of promises in the past about the M4 East being built, which some say is Sydney's most urgent motorway, but it's probably still a little bit too early to start getting excited. Tony Abbott still needs to be erect ele er elected first. Um, uh, we need to vote him in before any of this happens. Back to you. Okay, to leave her What more perfect timing can you get with a man jumping out of his window on TV? Watch the background. If you did enjoy today's video, then hit or two of my other videos on the screen right now. And if you guys want to see any videos from myself in the future, then please subscribe to my channel. Enjoy and have a great day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.